guys, my name is Alex Barham, and this is the review for the Liquid Logic Alpha, both the 90 and the 75. I paddled both of them and got seat time as well as gave them to people in the target weight ranges to get a kind of broad spectrum feel for both of them. And before I dive into that, what I want to say is by far, this is the video that was requested the most by you guys. You've been chasing me ever since the not really review rev reviews that got put out for this boat uh, for something that was independent. I am always working to get these out as accurately and quickly as I can in that order. But if you want them to come out faster, telling me isn't going to have that happen. Reach out to whoever the boat maker is that you have interest in their product and ask them to get with me to get something to you faster. Worked out amazing, you know, with Jackson paddling the very first C3 the week after it came out. Um, hopefully we can make more stuff like that happen in the future. So, the Alpha. Obviously, main designer was Pat Keller before he left Liquid Logic, and it comes in two sizes. You always wish that they would come in three, but fine, it's what we got. The 90 paddles really big for a 90. The 75 paddles just the way you'd expect based on the 73 gallon Delta V. So it's a genuine small. The idea behind this boat is to be a super fast racing monster. What's really, really cool about it the first time that you paddle is you take a couple quick strokes and these boats have this amazing forward glide just like in a canoe where they just go straight out. There's no spin off or anything weird. That is super handy in rapids because you can get this thing up to speed, read the water in front of you and you have this long, really fast glide to pick the perfect stroke. When you combine this with the kick rocker in the boat, what you wind up with is this really powerful platform to make carving booths off of stuff and to just straighten out what would be curvy lines into high speed, highly technical, super fast runs. Basically, just like you'd want for a racer. Now, the flip side of this whole equation is you can find yourself in these weird situations where this boat that's designed to go really beautifully on edge and carve in and out of spots, if it initiates that carve without you will turn on a dime and sometimes you just catch eddies that you weren't planning to or you catch a little riffle halfway down a move and suddenly you're doing it sideways. Everyone I talked to had that experience in this boat and what it really came down to was getting to know the boat and getting the outfitting just perfect so that you're sitting perfectly on that teeter-totter on the kick rocker. Very reminiscent of the BRAP and the Delta V. What's very different and added to the Alpha is that you're sitting a little bit further back and you have these big wild water style wings right behind you. These are super cool. What they allow you to do is when you're making a super aggressive ferry move or really hard carving charge down a rapid, it gives you something to lean on that's super consistent and predictable, and you can really just use them as a weapon to do super aggressive moves with high speed and engage a really long rail. They also work great for added stability when you're sort of coming off on your back deck, running out of a drop, and because you have all that volume behind you, it really does get that land and leave shoot out that Pat Keller was always talking about in the Delta V, but never really materialized with the turbo booster pocket thing. I got a great clip of this from my friend Sarah during her test drive. You can see the difference between the Mach No and then the 9R. It's kind of sinking in and then popping out, and she just touches down and gets rocketed away from this little booth. With every boat, the question that I always try to find the answer to is, who is this really going to be for? I think the Alpha is going to be an 
excellent choice for people who do a lot of rock bouncing because you have a very displacement based hull, but want to start to learn how to really engage edges or already know how to do that. You've got really strong chines, which are stable and predictable once you learn where they all are. But it's not necessarily going to be the beginner boat of choice. You know, again, like all of these racers, it's expecting constant input, constant manipulation, control, a lot of foresight into where you're going. And it wants to bring out the best in you, but you've got to give it something to work with. So, excellent, excellent boat, very good racer, very, very fun creaker, but this is a boat that is going to demand a lot from its paddler, but as always with these boats, dish out huge rewards. To me, one of the things that stands out the most about this is that the Alpha is going to be the first really good big water boat that Logic has put out in quite a while, basically since the Remix. This will absolutely, if you like the Remix series, be a plug and play for high-end performance. Look at Logic did a great job with sizing. I felt that the 90 fell somewhere in between a large Nomad and a large Machno in kind of the feel and way it paddled. Whereas the 75, I think, will be extremely good for smaller, younger paddlers, and female paddlers. This is gonna bring a ton of performance in a small, well-scaled package to a lot of people who have had a very hard time finding a boat that matched their body type. So if that's you, I highly recommend giving one of these a test drive. All right, so what's the skinny? What, where is this boat going to sort of fall flat? Well. The one thing that really concerns me with this boat is one rear piton and your back drain plug is pretty much toasted. So don't crash, but if you do, you can always drill another one in. The other thing I noticed in the 75 was that the deck was a little thinner right in the front of the cockpits and the outfitting sort of wiggled a bunch. You know, not the end of the world, but, uh, I usually see incredibly high build quality from Logic, so I would really tend to believe that was just a one-off. And if you have less weight in the deck, hey, less weight, faster boat. I don't have a problem with it. So I think this is going to be a really good design that's going to age very well. I do think, though, that you're going to have to take your time getting outfitted, learning how this boat works to get the full performance out of it, and just enjoy it for what it is. It's not gonna be a hop in, plug and play creaker. It's going to be something that is going to bring out the best in you because you're gonna learn more about edging, leaning back to engage the kick rocker, and these real nuances of paddling that you otherwise were able to ignore or get away with not knowing. Pat crushed it on this one, but you're really going to have to put that time in to understand what was going on in his head. Well, I think that's about it. If you haven't picked up what I'm throwing down yet, go demo one of these. You're not going to know if you're really going to like it or if the fit is really going to be good for you with the kick rocker being so crucial unless you go try it on moving water. Looking for a boat? Please go check out mountainmanoutdoors.com. If you're going to order one offline anyway, please support the people who made this video possible. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.